Hello, Popper fans! This is Mythonical, and you are joining me for a series on Affinity. Uh, this isn't really a novel deck. This isn't going to be some revolutionary uh, like setup or anything like that, but I felt like uh, Affinity's been a little bit on the, on the downswing lately, so when Affinity's on the downside, that is the best time to play Affinity, because most people are going to be having a little bit less, bit less uh, sideboard hate for Affinity. So we're going to go ahead and try and take advantage of that. Uh, you might be wondering what I'm trying to do to uh, kind of play around the inconsistencies of the deck, since we are trying to play essentially three colors with like 16 or 17 lands. And how do we do that? So we're going to kind of go through that with a bit of a deck tech here. Most of you are going to be very aware of the mechanic Affinity for Artifacts, which is the core of the deck. Um, being able to play fo Frogmites for free, Mirror Enforcers for free, that is the, the idea of the deck. That is how we're going to win a lot of games. And essentially Affinity for Artifacts just lets these spells cost one less for every single artifact we have in play. So what we're going to do is we're going to play 17 artifact lands. These are banned in other formats. These things are extremely powerful. But between Tree of Tales, Seed of the Synod, uh, Great Furnace, Darksteel Citadel, and one Ancient Den, we're just going to have a ton of artifact, uh, artifacts on the battlefield, huge artifact count, and play free Frogmites, free Mirror Enforcers. Things will be great. Of course, we would like to play things a little bit faster and kind of have some of that explosiveness that other formats have, like Modern. So to do that, we're going to play some Springleaf Drums. This will allow us to accelerate our mana. Being able to tap creatures for a any color, that really helps us get all of our mana sources online and cast some of our more expensive things. So uh, we're just going to play three of those. I don't think we need the full four. Three has been working great for me. Uh, to combine with the Springleaf Drum and another artifact, Flare Husk is a really nice card at bringing this whole deck together. It's a one drop that allows us to tap the germ for Springleaf Drum. It has an artifact that stays untapped for Metallic Rebuke, which we'll get to later. And of course, we can always just equip this onto one of our creatures to make it just that little bit bigger, which is quite helpful in some circumstances. Great for uh, Edict Fodder. Just an all-around really nice card to have. So we got three of those. Chromatic Star is just one of those like hidden gems of the deck. It allows us to really cycle through and draw additional cards. Fixes our mana. It's a free pump for a tog. It taps to give us additional convo uh, improvise for metallic rebuke, artifact count for uh, affinity for artifacts. You know, like just a really nice card. So we have the full four of those. Galvanic Blast. Every affinity player starts with at least we'll get one Galvanic Blast in hand, as we all know. So definitely got to play those. A tog. This is the combo finish to the deck. Since we were playing so many artifacts, we're just able to sacrifice those to a tog to make a tog as big as we want it to be. Sometimes if they don't block it, that will just win the game. Other times when they do block it, a tog can still win us the game if we bling the creature at their opponent. Sometimes we can just sack 20 power to a tog and just fling it at their opponent. That is a great way to win the game. Uh, so much so, I'm going to be playing two flings here. I really want to kind of get past board stalls. I'm expecting a bit more uh, stompy elves and that sort of thing, so I'd rather just kind of fling at my opponent. Team or Battle Rage can get around it as well. Uh, Team or Battle Rage does give it Trample and Double Strike, but I like the ability to either use this as removal or something to chuck at their face if the occasion arises. Uh, to round out our creatures, we're going to play a playset a, of Carapace Forger. This is just your 2-mana 4-4, fair cards in Popper. Prophetic Prism will round out our color-fixing suite. It draws us a card, costs 2 mana. It, it is a little bit on the slow side, costing 2 in a deck like Affinity, but the color-fixing is just too good to pass up. Metallic Rebuke is the card that allows us to kind of deal with whatever our opponent wants to do and just kind of tell them no. It's almost always a one blue counter target spell. Uh, three, making our opponent pay three is a real cost. Since our opponent is very explosive, gets down quickly, being able to deny them that one interaction or that one blocker can just win games. So this is a great card. Um, I was a little hesitant on it at first, but 
just being able to counter things is a really big tempo swing in this kind of deck. And to round out our deck, we're going to play some Thoughtcast. One mana, draw two cards. That's what it's going to be almost always, and it is amazing. So definitely play those. Sideboard, uh, there are a lot of options over here. And the way I'm going to run it is since I expect Burn, Stompy, Elves, that sort of thing, we want two uh, Krark Clan Shamans and two Electricries to deal with all of the Elves and various other creature strategies. For Burn, we want the Dispels and Hydroblasts, plus a couple Feed the Clans. Uh, that should be plenty of sideboard slots for those matchups. So after that, in case we run into any Boggles, we do want a Serene Heart to just kind of win that matchup. A Relic of Progenitus to help us against any kind of uh, Demir strategy, Tron, that sort of thing. Uh, we do want to play one Gorilla Shaman to fight against other affinity decks and two Pyroblasts to kind of fight off control lists. So, uh, yeah, things are. this is how I'm going to run through this league. And in the wrap-up, we'll go over some of the flex slots, some of the alternatives you have, and go from there. Thank you very much for joining me so far, and enjoy the rest of this series.